hey guys how are you doing welcome to my channel if this is your first time stumbling on my channel thank you for watching for my retaining subscribers thank you okay on today this episode in my kitchen we will be cooking jello rice this is african jello rice we, i know we have all varieties of jello rice in africa but this is my own version everything boils down to cooking jello rice so i'll be cooking cameroon jello rice and i'll be using chicken my vegetable oil i have my tomatoes i'm not using tomato paste i use just tomatoes my fresh tomatoes basically chicken seasoning white pepper basil i have my green beans here onion my bell peppers carrot this one and green onion this is basically the fresh one garlic i have powder and ginger pepper and my rice so let me just go ahead prep the chicken put it on fire and take you along with me so with powder put water because i need to use the chicken stock to cook the jello rice is the chicken too so i need to have your salt no seasoning season for the season. so the seasoning has gotten into it i'm going to put water into the chicken so that it cooks totally then i'll take it out fry in there so you can season it so that it gives that chicken broth kind of paste Right now my chicken is ready so all I have to do is just strain it and start with the cooking process. I'll take it out of the fire, vegetable oil, I have to saute the onion for some time. While we are sauteing our onion, our chicken is also frying on the other side. So I'm going to saute my onion for like one to two minutes. Then I'll put the tomatoes inside. Tomatoes. All I have to do is stir. I'll put in some salt, a little bit of salt and seasoning because I have salt and maggi already in the chicken stock. So I'll just put a little bit of salt so that the tomato will be tasty and fry it for some time. Then we'll proceed from there. A little bit of salt, a little bit of seasoning. So I'm using your nor chicken bouillon. We just cook it. The dry ones. I'll go with my white pepper. Put in my white pepper. And I'll also put in my basil. I'd already put garlic in the chicken broth but I'll add a little bit of garlic. I will just stir and let it get into the sauce for like two minutes and then I'll add the chicken stock that I got and we are ready to go. So this one, I'm not actually, I'm not cooking curry jello rice. I'm just cooking simple jello rice. So I will not be using curry powder to cook it. So. So this is okay. We are going ahead to put the stock right now. And this is my washed rice. My rice was already washed, so I'm just going in with it. Just there. 
allow it to bubble for some time then i'll reduce the heat to like medium for it to cook gently so i'm just going to stir taste it and make sure everything is okay and then this is okay i will turn it on medium and allow it to cook gently to it's ready If there's something you need to know with jello rice is the fact that you have to always open it and stir so that it doesn't get burned at the bottom of the pot. So right now, I'm going to cover it with a foil paper and reduce the heat again so that you don't want it to burn. You just want, you don't want to add water again, but you want it to capture the heat with the water that you have in there and cook the rice. So I'm reducing it now to medium, like medium low for the rice to cook it and see you later. Let's check on our rice. So you see our rice? This is our jollof rice. So right now, because we do not put our vegetable, the rice is ready. Yes. Once your vegetable just semi cooked, you can choose to fry your vegetables differently. That is on you, but you can also put it like this. And you see how good the rice is coming out but this is how I love rice definitely when I put my vegetables I will just turn off the heat cause the heat that is coming out of the rice is okay to cook the vegetables so this is what we say jello rice so this is the way we cook it in my country don't judge me you don't use a lot of tomatoes if you want to use tomato paste, it's your choice. But the way I know jollof rice when I was growing up, we cook it with fresh tomatoes and that's it. Our jollof rice is ready. Come, let's serve to eat. And here we go. This is our jollof rice with our fried chicken and some salad at the side. See how good it looks. And it tastes good as well. Will you try this recipe? There you go. Let me tell you, this was so good. Guys, thanks for watching. See you on another video. Comment in the comment section what next you would like me to cook. All right. On this, we say bye bye till I meet you next time. Thanks for watching. You're loved.